Hi everyone. Welcome to Creative Moments with Dorinda. I am Dorinda and we are actually going to do a craft with me video tonight. It's a little bit late. It's about 1220 Eastern Time but um, I had started working on these pockets um, while I was at a sale today and I couldn't turn the camera on at that time because I was watching the sale so I thought I would just finish these up with you guys. These are some ephemera that will decorate the journals that I'm making for the ladies at the domestic violence shelter here in my town. This was my inspiration. I um, apologize. I do not remember which sale I purchased this at. So if you watch this and you see it and know that it's yours, please let me know. I kind of can guess whose it might be, but I don't want to do that in case I'm wrong. But it's uh, book pages that um, have been made into a pocket. And they put this little booklet in here with all kinds of um, different papers. And then they've got like a little butterfly wings with one of the little Tim Holtz people. It says stay curious and it's got buttons on it. And then they've sewn around it. So what I did was I took some old um, gospel book pages and uh, tore out some songs. I tore around the edges. But because the paper is a little bit um, uh, thin or weak. I decided to back it with um, wallpaper. It's just another way that that can be used. I used this one here. It's got like, um, can't really see it. It's got flowers and butterflies on it. And then this one is just a metallic background. But you really can't see a lot of the wallpaper. The idea was more for strengthening the pocket and these will probably uh, be glued down on a page somewhere but they need some embellishment so um, because the fabrics that I use for the journals are mostly the sari kind of fabrics I have pulled my um, jars from my shelf I just have these jars I took the lids off and there's some different blingy pieces, appliques, and stuff like that in here. And then I have another one here that has some different trims and some fabrics and things like that. Now I may have to pull some other things as we go. These are just what I pulled to start with. And then I have this big jar that has all kinds of different um, fibers and things that we can use for background. And then here I have some pieces of the fabrics from when I made the cover so we could use stuff from in there. And then I have some uh, lace that we may or may not use that um, is too small to go around spools but it's bigger than my little tiny pieces so I just put it in a bag for right now. So that's what I have pulled out for us to start with. I may want to pull out um, somewhere I have a jar with um, pieces and tidbits from uh, doilies. Where is that jar? It should be right here. Anyway, I'm probably just not seeing it because I'm still in the midst of organizing. So anyway, we're not going to worry about it just yet. Let's just go ahead and focus on these one at a time. So the first thing I want to do is maybe, um, maybe I want to take some fiber and just kind of put it together in some kind of way. And I don't know for sure if I'm going to use that or not. I'm just pulling stuff out at this point just to kind of see what I have to use. Now these are, I'm not sure why I have these great big appliques in here. I may have to, I've got different storage 
now, but although one of these appliques might be cute on there, one of the smaller ones. I really have not put any um, plan into this yet whatsoever. Now, this would be cute on that now, wouldn't it? Maybe we'll use some of this because it's got like all the rainbow type colors in it. And then to put that on top, that might look pretty. So let's cut some of this. My camera doesn't tend to like uh, the bling too much, so I just want to kind of get this spread out a little bit better. I feel like I feel like it needs something else behind it. Um, something more plain that that can um, sit on top of. Let me see. No, I don't think that. I was looking at this piece of lace that I just had sitting here, but I don't think that's what I want. Um, let me see if I have anything up here. I have this, oops, this bucket of just things that I have together that um, I might use in the journal. So let me see if I something in here I might want to use. Could take some of this no that's I don't want anything that I want something a little more subtle, you know? Let me see. Could use some of this stuff I got from Donna Little. Maybe if I cut a piece of this put behind. I kind of like that. And I had a feeling that was going to happen. It's about time for my mother to call. I'm going to pause the video for just a second. Okay, we're back. So while I was on my phone call, I grabbed some of these um, crochet pieces that I got from Donna Little. Oops. I think we'll Try putting a few of these around the one side in just a minute. I cut a little triangle of the meshy stuff. Maybe I should zoom down just a little bit. That way you guys can see what I'm working on. I got a new uh, cutting matte I found when it was purple it's not dark purple of course you know I'm always telling you guys how purple doesn't show up accurately it's actually a more of a plum color I wish it was that dark color this was the darkest I found um I would have preferred a darker just gonna put a little bit of fabric tack down on here Is that how I wanted that? Yeah, I think so. Okay. And then we'll put some of this on top of there. 
don't know if there's enough coming through. There might be enough coming through that mesh to hold that down. Just a little bit more. I hope you guys are crafting along with me tonight. You know, as always, if you want to leave a comment, let me know what you were working on while I was crafting. Um, I always like to hear that, or if you were doing some of what I am doing as well. I forgot to tell you guys that I, I mean, you can see it, I sewed around um, these as well. And I am telling you guys, you would not believe the trouble I was having with my sewing machine. I haven't crafted in quite a while, so of course, first off, I had to clean all the dust off my sewing machine. I probably should get a cover for it. And then, um, I forgot how to thread it properly. I think I had the bobbin in backwards. So I couldn't figure out why my fancy stitching or the, the pretty part of the stitching was on the bottom. And it was looking kind of weird on top. And once I turned the bobbin around the right way, voila, it was fixed. Who knew? <laughs> Apparently not me. I am not a professional seamstress that is for sure before i got my um sewing machine i um uh, the only sewing i ever did was with safety pins i could sew a button on but um other than that okay why is this normally these bottles are really great I don't know what my malfunction is. Could be because I'm trying to do this late at night and I'm already tired. I got a huge bubble in there. Can you see that? So I'm waiting for that to take care of itself. And then maybe I can get some glue out. There we go. I got a big goober. If I can wipe that off. Of course, we always have the most trouble with everything when we're filming, don't we? It's just the, the law of nature. Anything's going to go wrong or not work properly when you got that camera on. Alright, so I got me a little, just a little foundation here. It's kind of building on that. I'm going to put this beautiful applique on. I got this from the lovely Safia, of course. I'll be glad when um, she's able to ship from India again. Not that I don't have enough stuff and a lot of stuff. But um, I'm kind of going through withdrawals a little bit of getting the beautiful packages to open. <laughs> I know, isn't that terrible? like I already have so much of this stuff and I'm using it but um you just you like to get those packages and open them because it's so pretty I love going through the beautiful fabrics that I get from her I want everything down as flat as it will go because you know it is going in a journal and I don't want to add too much bulk now, we need, do we need a word or something on there? Or do we think that's enough like that? I don't know. I think for now, I'm just going to leave it as it is because there is so much going on just with this right here. But that's kind of our focal point. I may end up putting a word down here. But for now, we'll just leave this one as it is and go on to the next one. I 
Honestly, I don't know if I even really have enough to talk about with you guys tonight. Usually, you know, I have stories to talk about and, you know, things to tell. But, oh, look at that peacock. Isn't that pretty? But, um, not a lot's been going on. I mean, I go out to mom's every day. Or not every day, every other day. That's pretty much just the way of it. Why something like this might be pretty. Just on the just on the side there. But it's just basically the same thing, you know, I go out and get the mail. If it's trash day I have to make sure the trash bins out to the road and Generally what she does is puts her uh, little bag of trash out on the back porch when she knows I'm coming. And then I just make sure that gets out to the garage. And um, she's got like a little area there. She doesn't have a lot of trash anyway. I mean usually I have one bag of wheat that I have to get out to the road. It's not like it's a major task, you know, but um, I don't know. Do I really need anything behind that? It's just kind of pretty the way it is. Sometimes less is more, you know. Sometimes we don't need all that added stuff underneath. Maybe a couple little bling pieces out that way or something. Like little pearls or something or do I want something behind it I don't think I want any doily stuff behind it I don't want any fibers because that would just make it messy you know it would just take away from it maybe I want a do I want like a little piece of trim up here and then this Maybe not quite that color. Let's see. Let's see what we have in here for trim. Maybe something with a little bit of color on it. Not something real wide, but whoops. Oh, that's a real wide piece, isn't it? That's pretty. Something like that might be pretty lovely. I kind of hate to cover up the song. Do I maybe want it down here? No, I kind of, sometimes I can tell better by looking over at the, my computer is over here, so I'm always looking there, but um, sometimes I can tell better looking at the monitor how things look that is too much or too big or something I don't know the thing is there's just not enough room for this applique I need like a really thin piece if I'm going to use something That's got dangles on it. How about this? And I may not need anything else on here. I mean, this applique by itself might be enough. I kind of like that trim on there with it, though. I think I'm going to use that trim with it. Yesterday was supposed to be my day to stay home, but um, I was really tired 
from being up super, super late um, the night before into yesterday morning. And um, I really wasn't getting a lot done anyway. And my body was a little sore. You wouldn't think sitting on a stool, I think I've talked about this before, would hurt your back and your hips and stuff so bad. But when it doesn't fit your body right, and you're sitting for too many hours at a time, um, it can make you sore the next day. I can attest to that. So, uh, so yeah, I hadn't really done anything yet. And I was getting ready to go uh, pick up something to eat. And, uh, of course, my mom called right at that time, right before I went out. And she's like, oh, you're going to get something to eat, huh? So I knew what was coming. I knew she was going to want us to pick something up for her and bring it out. So I told her I would. I just, I feel bad for her, you know, because she's stuck out there. You know, she doesn't really drive much. And, you know, she has to count on me to, I think I like that like that. She has to count on me to bring her everything and, you know, it kind of stinks to have to live that way, you know. I really should put something down on my mat so I don't get glue on it. So anyway, I told her that I would, um, you know what, that's not really part of that flower. Maybe I'll cut that piece off. I told her I didn't mind bringing her out something. So I ended up going out there and uh, taking her, um... It wasn't really lunch. It was more of an early dinner because, gosh, it must have been about 3 o'clock by the time I got out there. So we just ate out there with her and played some kismet, did her eye drops for her. Um, you know, she's recovering from that uh, cataract surgery, which went good. This eye's been giving her a little bit more trouble than the first eye, though. She's been having some discomfort and stuff, but nothing... Nothing major, just bothersome, I think. So, uh, anyway, uh, she has arthritis pretty bad, and so doing the eye drops is not real easy for her. So she likes it when I'm out there and can do them for her. So anyway, I did that while I was there, and that was pretty much it. But the cats... Liz got to spend time with her little cat, uh, Yuki, short for Yukio, which, um, I don't know, she's into Japanese right now, Japanese culture, Japanese music, anime, um, all that kind of stuff. She's learning the language all on her own, just where her interest lies right now. So, uh, our vehicle is named Sachi which is Japanese for miracle. Uh, there's a video on here talking about why it was named miracle. But anyway, and the cat's named Yuki. <laughs> it's just a just a barn cat that uh, kind of runs wild around the farm, but uh, seems like he's pretty tame. He must have been somebody's house cat at some time. But anyway, he's her little friend now, and so she likes to spend time with him. And he likes to spend time with her. It's so funny when she doesn't come with me. That cat is looking for her. He comes up to me, and he'll meow, and I'll be like, I'm sorry, Yuki, Liz didn't come today. She's not here. And he'll meow at me, and it's like, why not? Where is she? <laughs> and she gives him attention and stuff, but his glue is getting all globby. But, uh, so she likes to go out and put her quilt on the ground and, um, he'll come out there and lay on the quilt with her and, and they have a fun little time together while mom and I are playing, um, playing our game. I don't know what she's going to do when winter comes though and she can't sit out there with him. I know my mom isn't going to let him in the house, so she'll have to 
figure something else out as well. Maybe she'll have to uh, spend time with him out in the barn or something. Trying to smooth this out. It's a little, little wrinkly from being in the jar. So I'm just trying to get it spread out as much as possible. Really pretty flower. Isn't that pretty? Really blings that pocket up. That's for sure. Not sure yet what's going to go in these pockets. But they open like right there pretty good size pocket all right so i think i'm going to call that one done for right now i guess tonight since there's so many of them i might just do like a foundation like with these two so far and then um i may or may not add any more to them i might just leave them as they are it depends on what's going to go in there i think and i'm thinking i might have brought this pocket up a little too high I might come to regret that I probably should have put it down a little bit further but oh well you make it work right okay so let's see I wanted to use this trim so I think this time we'll start we'll start with a trim at the edge here and then find something that works with the trim so anyway back to my story um since i ended up going out there yesterday i didn't go today today became my day to stay home and uh i just worked on stuff here at the house i didn't get quite as much done as i had intended because of that sale and it really doesn't take much for me to procrastinate because cleaning is not my favorite thing to do it never has been there's so many other things I would rather be doing with my time. But eventually it has to get done, doesn't it? It doesn't do itself, unfortunately. I wish it did. I used to joke about kitchen fairies and needing to hire new ones because the ones I had weren't doing their job. Too bad they're not real. Or if they are real and y'all are knowing something I don't know, please let me in on it. Because as far as I know, them things aren't real. They certainly aren't working here. I could just do one with trim, too. Possibilities are endless. Could do something like that. Let's see what else we got here in our little jar of goodies. Isn't this beautiful? This is one of my favorite pieces. Isn't it gorgeous? I love that. Uh, let's see what else do we got. Is that everything? Yep. Yeah. Alright, let's see. Well, we have another one of these rainbow ones, but I don't really like it with that. Now that would be pretty with that. It's kind of small though. I could put one in. I could put one in each corner. Well, it's going the same way though. Yeah. Yeah. That one is too big. These bigger ones I need to put with my other appliques. I wonder if something like that. Nah, it's still a little bit too big. Sorry, you guys. I I mean, I could be talking to you guys, but I tend to talk to myself when I work too. 
One of these would probably fit. We'll keep these out. This one is too big. This one might be a little too bulky because it's got that raised area. I don't know if you can see that. That one's too big. These are more the ones I use on covers. One of these might fit. Now, I'm not thinking about this one. I'm just trying to see if they will fit on the pocket. To whether I need to even keep them out. Because like all these are too, um, too big. Okay. What else do we have? Got this little one. Got always cut around the fabric. But not for that. Use that's the wrong color. Use something that's a goldish color. <laughs> what do I want to use? That's pretty too. With the green. I don't know. I'm just afraid these are going to be too bulky in the journal. See what else we have in here. Could use one of these pieces. Boy, that's blingy. That's sparkly. Woo! <laughs> that's got some shine to it. Could go with one of these colorful pieces. Just put it on there. Sorry, I'm shaking my camera. I need to find a different way to set up my camera. I have it clamped to this table. But when I move, I shake the camera sometimes. And that doesn't work real well. Could use that for a... Maybe for a base and put something on top of it. what I did with my I have my gypsy flowers I made too that would be I wonder if that would hmm. nope I'm just not liking anything that I have out here for the bottom of that Mm -hmm. I'm trying to think what else I have I can use. Why is it two can go so easily and then you get to another one and you're completely stumped? Maybe I just need to build another... Um, Maybe I need to build another um, base and just see what happens. I don't like that with that. Sometimes you just got to keep going until you find something that works, don't you? Here's more of a brown color. It goes more with... Probably way too much too, but let's let's at least get it started and see where we go with it. Okay, and then let's see. Get these little flower pieces from John a little. Maybe I need to make this loopy.
So anyway, tomorrow I have to go back out to my mom's. She's got to get her hair cut. I haven't had my hair done in, oh, I don't know, a year and a half, almost two years maybe. So it's gotten quite long. Being a redhead, I don't gray. I don't get gray. Redheads tend to just lose color. So they get lighter and lighter until they're white. So I don't have to worry about covering up gray is what I'm getting to. But I do like, to, I don't know, I need, I need something in between. I need a wood or a metal or something like that. Let's go to the metal. When all else fails, go to the metal, I say. Happen to have my little bit of metal right next to me on the floor. I've got this bag of a variety of things, so let's see if we can find something in here that we like. So anyway, I do like to get my hair dyed a little bit where I just add a little bit of the red back in so it's not quite so blonde, but um, yep, I think this is what we're needing here is that element of metal. Okay, so we're going to go with that. Um, yeah, so anyway, I'm taking her over to the gals how she does hair at her house and um so she'll get that done tomorrow that'll make her feel better she has a short haircut so when um you know how it is when you have short hair in a particular style when it starts to grow out and it's not cooperating it's annoying where me, my hair is long, I just throw it up in a ponytail or a bun or whatever. And that's how I deal with it being too long, you know. But, uh, so we'll be doing that. Liz, she has a, a short style she's wanting to try. She's always had long hair. It's really funny when she was little. We were at a Walmart one time and... A little girl pointed to her and said, look, Mommy, it's Rapunzel. Because Elizabeth had long, curly, blonde hair. But now she's at the age where um, she's not really jamming on that anymore. She got it cut at one point. Um, she donated her hair for, um, they did the Miles for Miracles at her school. And one of the things they have is a haircut challenge. Whoever can cut the most hair. So they don't really style it. They just put it in a pony and whack it right off. I tried to even it out as best I could. But I'm not really a hairstylist. And then we never really did go and get anything done with it. So she was left with it uh, still uh, kind of just a hot mess. I mean, it wasn't a hot mess, don't get me wrong. I'm exaggerating a little bit, but uh, it definitely was not styled. <laughs> and then uh, she did finally get it cut probably about just past her shoulders. And so now she's wanting to try a modern style. I can show you guys what it looks like. I got a picture on my phone. Let's see. Oh, I might not have it anymore because I erased her messages. Let me see. Yeah, I let that glue dry for a second anyway. <laughs> oh, 
Hmm, I guess I don't have it on here anymore. I shouldn't have to resend it to me so I can show the girl. I don't have it. Bummer. I was going to show you guys. Anyway, no matter. Now I need a smaller one. But anyway, she wants me to show her the style and see if she'd be interested in doing her hair. I contacted the girl that does our hair, but she has another job too. And I don't know if she's just busy with her other job or what, but I never did hear back from her on a time you know I had told her to give me some times that she was available so I could work it out with my schedule and I never I never heard back so I don't know do I want to add a well it's kind of going isn't it because it's kind of stuck <laughs> and I thought maybe I could put <clears throat> excuse me I don't know I don't want to get it too I gotta remember these are going in a journal and I don't want to put too many layers on because that's already quite dimensional as it is. I could put like a little uh, bling on there. I think I'll do that since that's already sticking down. Um, from Donna that came with the, she's doing, Donna Little, she's doing um, her flower kits a little bit differently. You can get um, the bags with all the different flower pieces and then um, you can put them together how you want to. I think I want something to offset that. That one's not quite big enough. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Does that do it? I don't want to settle for something just because I don't have exactly the right thing right here. Let me get my little tray. Got my desk all cleaned off and things where I could work and now I'm making it a big old mess again. Is that the way of it? I wonder how this would look. Mm. I don't think I want a clear one. I think that's the problem. I think I want a colored one, but the colored ones I have aren't quite big enough. See what I mean? Does that look big enough, you think? Am I just being too much of a perfectionist? I don't know. I just I I feel like this area right here is the problem. I need something more in there. See really what I need is one of these little flowers. And I'm afraid it's gonna put too much bulk in it. 
and I'll show you what I mean. See, this is what I really want. I really want to do this. But I'm afraid it's going to put too much bulk. But you know what? I'm going to do it. If it ends up being too bulky, I won't use it. In the journal, I'll just come up with something else. But that's my problem because that's really what my eye wants to see. And that's why I'm not liking anything else. wants what I wants and I don't want to settle <laughs> for anything else that one's kind of pretty that might look pretty on there if I get a hold of it okay there now tell me if that doesn't look 100% better see what I mean it just needed that metal to offset all that. Um, it's not white. It's like an off-white or ecru, but it needed that. I love that now. Okay, we are at 46 minutes. We'll see if we can get one more in. Time does go by fast, doesn't it? Let's see who messaged me. Make sure I don't need to message back. Oops, that's not what I clicked on. I have a love-hate relationship with my phone. I love to hate it. It's kind of a crappy phone, cheap, and uh, no, that's nothing I need. And it shows that it's a cheap phone in a way that it doesn't work very well. Okay, moving on from complaining about the phone. Let's do one of the Let's do one of the floral pieces. Okay. Now, what do we want to do? We have a little bit more space to work with on these because I put the... I wanted to show the wallpaper because it was prettier uh, wallpaper than the other. And I'm seeing this pink, pink trim in here that I think might look pretty on here. Let's see with the silver. I don't think they all go together, though. I do like that pink. Maybe just a little bit of it. Nothing crazy. Just a small amount. Okay. And I like the silver with it. So let's put a little bit of silver in there. I want the kind of want the silver more blended in with the pink than it is. Might need a little bit more pink. Well, maybe we'll put a little bit of the white with it. problem is the silver is a little bit stiffer than the white and the pink, which is more fluffy. And my hands have little bits of glue and it's all wanting to stick to that. This pink is really shedding its pieces. I know there's a lot of different ways you can put this stuff down, but it seems to work best for me just to, you know, haphazardly put it down there. 
Now I feel like this has a little bit more of a shabby chic feel to it than so much the gypsy. I got this little flower piece I could put over top. I just want to have these little pieces poking out. And again, I don't know if that's the piece I want to use or not. I'm just trying things. I don't have a set plan. They kind of just happen. I just, you know, as you've seen, I just try things until I find something that I like the way it looks. Um, let's see. I've got greens and purples in that. Need something to go over that white. <laughs> I got these little I got these little flowers from uh where did I get these from? can't even remember who I got these from now. Just got them too. Had to be Katie or Keisha or who? I don't really want to. Maybe I want a couple. Can't believe I already can't remember where I got these. Crazy. Crazy it is that I can't remember. Could do something like that. I'm not jamming on this piece underneath. I'm kind of liking these flowers on here. I'm not liking this. I'm not sure I'm liking this silver is driving me nuts. Let's just get rid of that because it's driving me nuts. Because it don't want to lay. We'll get a little bit more pink under there. What if we just put that and that and that? I do like to use my metal pieces. And I do like the fluffy coming out behind it. I don't know. Do we want to just go simple on this one? Hmm, 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 hmm. What do you guys think? Does it need more? This is where it would be nice to be live because then you could say, no, that's not enough, or yes, leave it alone. It's fine like that. Less is more. I could put a little bit more of the fluffy stuff under it. And then I could put one of these in the center. Oh, wrong color. That's more of a peach. I thought it was pink. This one's pink put one of these in the center so it's not that green. Kind of like that pink in the center. Even though there's green in there, I, that green in the center was a little too much for me. So I think what we need is a little more eyelash trim. Maybe, do I want some of this thicker white? See if we want some of this in there. Yeah, that's gonna be too thick. Let's put some more pink on there. I'm getting tired, you guys. I can tell. My thinker isn't working so well. I do kind of like just having the fringe under there. And then we'll put the whoop. Oh well, did I catch it? Yep. Caught it with my big belly. Sometimes that comes in handy. 
I think I want it more towards the bottom though in case I want to do something at the top. And then we'll put that. What do you guys think? I think that's cute just like that. I don't think we need a whole lot. Let me set that up there. Hopefully that will sit. Let's see if we can get this eyelash trimmed down in some sort of way that makes me happy. glue. I think I need to clean my bottle because normally these bottles are really as good as everybody says and they don't uh, they don't bubble up and they tend to work really well. Mine is wanting to act like it's stopped up and bubbly. I don't know what that is in there, but that needs to come out. Okay. I think I got, I think I need to like open it or something. Just need to get it to work long enough to finish this. I oh, got that all kind of up a little higher than I wanted because I wanted my flower more in the corner, but that's all right. That's all right. There we go. I'm tuck it under there a little bit more. Okay, and then we'll put that little applique there. Yeah, the way it's wanting to glob up and stuff, I'd say there's a lot of air in there that shouldn't be. I got the little green tops, caps that go on top too, and I haven't used those yet. Oh, where'd my little thing go? Did I scoop it out? That's all right, there's more in here. I don't want glue on there. Oh, come on. There we go. Put that in the middle. There we go. There. Okay, so we've got... Whoops. Oh, I forgot. Here I'm trying to show you and I forgot I've got the camera down. So we've got this one. I think this is definitely going to need some words or something on it. But, um... I even could probably tuck something into it if I wanted to. But anyway, I will show you guys what I end up doing with these guys. I may even come back on and uh, finish them in another craft with me. But I don't want um, the video to be too much over an hour. And that's about where we're at. So I'm going to um, say that's enough for tonight. So there's that one. And this one. Let's take the zoom back up, and we can get them all in here, maybe. And if we can move the stuff out of the way. That one. And this one. There. All we got done was four. We've got, uh, let's see, several more to go yet. 
But, you know, that's one of the reasons that I called my channel Creative Moments with Dorinda. Because when I, even when I started my channel, I was really busy working and with kids and all of that. And, you know, having my mom added in just has made me that much busier. So it is moments, you know. So thank you for sharing this moment with me. I hope you were crafting along. Um, leave me a comment if you'd like and let me know what you were working on. If you don't mind giving uh, me a thumbs up if you liked the video. And um, if you haven't subscribed yet and you would like to, that would be great. I love to have new people join the community. And um, I might not always put a lot of videos out, but I do my best. So <laughs> as time allows. And next week I go back to work, so we'll see what happens with that. But we'll just take it moment by moment. Have a great night, you guys. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.